Are you the lookout? Yes. Our surprise may be coming soon. Hopefully. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, I think she's here. She is. Darling, smile today. Let me see your lights. Brighten up the room like candlelight. Ooh, home is in your arms. Home is in our hearts. Home is wherever you are with me. With you, I'm home. Crazy little. With you, I'm home. Crazy little. With you, I'm home. Okay, we really got to give you some backstory here. Yeah, so you so. understand what. Why a lot so of work excited. has gone into making all of this happen, like months of work. So if you've, if you've seen, been watching our channel for quite a while, you know that we've had Jacob for three or four years. Uh, when we first got him, um, it really was not possible to get his sisters with him. It was not. In fact, they were going to an adoptive placement. We were able to schedule like a um, visit. Like a quick visit. A yeah. quick visit. And um, we noticed how the bond between Nicole and Jacob were, was, was so, so strong. strong. And so from there, um, we couldn't adopt him because they were in adoptive placement. Well, they actually got split up. So they yes. didn't adopt Nicole. Nicole went to another home and we had a really hard time finding her for a little bit. Yeah. And finally, we were able to reconnect with her and we did another visit yes. um, at an, an adoptive home that she had. And so at that visit, as we were leaving, um, I reached over and gave her a hug and it was just this overwhelming feeling that I had that she was supposed to be our child. And, um, and there was n literally nothing we could do. There was nothing we could do because she was already in adoptive placement. And so when we left and we got in the car, Jared was about to cry. I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, listen, I just hugged her and I had this overwhelming feeling. It was that, me too. That, yeah, that she was supposed to be ours. And I was like, oh, I just had the exact same thing. I'm like, she, maybe that's supposed to be. I did contact her caseworker and I said, listen, if this adoptive placement falls through, we would really like to adopt her. And she said that was fine. She would keep us in mind. Well, as time went on, um, that placement did end up falling through for her. Yeah. And uh, we were not able to stay in contact at that point. Her changes of caseworkers changes and of case case workers plans, and they got it's, chaotic. It's so hard. And so um, we have been looking for her. And finally found her and it's been so nice because they've been able to talk on the phone yeah. Jacob and her and get reconnected again they're so close so it's so great But there's such a huge difference between being on the phone and being in person yes so, so. they would not let her come and visit us or, or, or us go visit and finally they finally they agreed allowed to it. it so yeah, so oh. we're so excited. So this happened yesterday. Um, we want to give you a shot of them reconnecting. So here it is. Are you ready for your present? Uh-huh. You ready? <laughs> okay, stand up. Take your blindfold off. <laughs> Are you so excited? <laughs> so because this is such an emotional time for pretty much everybody involved, we actually wanted to just leave them alone with no cameras, let them connect and bond, and just have a really good night. So we didn't really do any recording we last night. We just let night. them have their time. We just let them have some time. Yeah. That's so all needed. So today um, we have spoke with Nicole and Jacob and we know that you guys have a ton of questions and she wants to answer all those questions for you. So we are going to be doing a Q&A. and &A. a We are so glad that Nicole is here. This has been a long time in the making. Long, 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 long time. So, and, and 
I'm sure he's just ecstatic. So, but we know you guys are going to have a ton of questions about this whole situation. So we wanted to go ahead and do a Q&A. You guys ready for that? Yeah. All right. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first question that I'm sure is on everybody's mind, how old are you? I'm 17. 17 years old. All right, so the next question, getting a little deeper here, why did you guys get split up? Do you guys yeah. remember? Because the family that all three of us were at together didn't want me. So you have another sister that was with you? Yeah. All we're, three of us were together and then they split me and them up, so. Weren't you like the youngest one in the house yeah. too? Yeah. So I think they just wanted older kids or yeah. something like that. Something something of that nature. And I remember when we picked them up, she seemed kind of glad to be rid of them for some reason. So, but that's why they got split up. And that's really common in foster care too. Uh, they try and keep them together, but it, it rarely happens. So, all right. Um, do you have other siblings? Well, obviously you do. You just talked yes. about another sister. We have an older sister. And then we have an older brother, but he was adopted and he was a baby. Um, and then me and him. So there's four of you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So there's four kids all together. Uh, their older two were adopted separately out. Um, now, are you guys all full siblings? No. No. My two older siblings are full siblings. So my older sister and my older brother have the same mom and dad. And then me and yeah. Jacob have the same mom and dad. Oh, so you two are full siblings. Okay, that makes sense. You actually look a lot alike. Do you do? Let's see the difference. <laughs> there's you. There's a lot. Oh, yeah. Lot Definitely. Of similarities there. So that, that looks right. All right, so, so where are you living now? Um, I live at a group home for teen moms. Um, I've been there for two years. So teen moms, so she does have a baby that is super cute. Uh, I don't know where she is though. Just playing downstairs. We'll show her later. <laughs> <laughs> and you've already seen her a little bit, but we'll show her again later. How close were you guys as siblings before foster care? We were really close. We were best friends. Yeah. We have a lot of like similarities. I was like a tomboy. So yeah. me and him got along really, really well. So. Yeah. And I remember we took him on a visit one time years ago and you guys were the ones that just hung out all the time, the whole time. Yes, we were like, oh my so, gosh, they're <laughs> best friends. They were super, super close. How often do you get to visit? Mm, we get to talk every, like on the phone. We, we, we get to talk a lot, but we haven't been, like this is the first time we visited in a while. So when we first got Jacob, uh, we knew about their his sisters and everything. So we did one visit uh, like three or four years ago, right? And after that, like she disappeared for a while, and then we didn't know where she was for a long time. Um, and Just then, because she had like moved group homes, yeah, she moved or... around, and then you have to find a caseworker, and yeah. it takes a while to figure out where kids are sometimes. So recently, we got the whole communication reestablished. They've been talking on the phone, and they finally approved a visit. So we're hoping they get to do a lot more now. So that, that's what we really want, is a lot more visitation. So where do we go from here? What are your plans for the future? Um, I want to become a labor and delivery nurse after I graduate high school in December. Oh. She graduates early. Early in December. Oh, that's so going good. Going to trade school then? Um, yeah. Some kind of trade school for to become like a registered nurse. Labor and, and delivery is cool. Okay, we actually do have one more question because I just want to know one of your favorite childhood memories together. They were just talking about yeah. this earlier. <laughs> so. um, when we were little, he used to have this really, really big like Tonka Tonka truck, truck, and we had um, these dogs that had puppies. And so we had a really big puppy, and he used to like pull us down the road. Yeah. Like, and the Tonka in the truck? truck? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Wow, like you guys would sit we in would the Tonka sit on truck each together? Other and, like, and then hold the thing and like, tell them to go, and he would like, start running. <laughs> that That's is cool. cool. That is so much fun. That is. Awesome. Okay, now we have Blake here, and we're gonna ask her a couple of questions too. Blake, how old are you? Two Two minutes. She's two minutes old. That is so She's cute. She's actually two years old. What's your name? Two What's minutes. What's your name? Two minutes. Her two name minutes. is two minutes. Ooh. <laughs> so her name is obviously Blake. She's actually two and a half years old. And she is so cute. She is so cute. You're so you're cute, huh? Oh, have you have you had fun getting to know her? Yeah. Oh, she I loves you. That. You guys have been playing nonstop. Nonstop. She's so much fun. So we haven't had any kids like this for a little bit. Yeah, little teeny so, ones. Little ones, yep. 
And I know, I know Shelly likes to really dress them up a lot, so we got her a couple outfits that are really cute. But uh, she reminds me of the little girl from Monsters, Inc. Yeah. It's so cute. With the hair that says yeah. like, kitty, kitty. <laughs> and we right? have the kitties up front, so she says it too. It's really it's cute. Really cute. But uh, we are so glad that they are here and that they can reconnect and just get the whole family circle back in touch. Yes, we so. love you guys so much. And we will make sure that they stay in contact. Nicole's right, he's here to leave. Mommy, Albert. Are you crying? You want her to yeah. Help this? Oh, can you help her grab some of her things, honey? Okay. So, so good. We'll make it back, or we'll get you back here as quick as we can. Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you later, okay?